Hey guys, we're Jess and Jeff from Two Moose Design, and in today's video, we're going to show you five projects you can make and sell using your CNC. For our first item, we're going to be making some trivets or hot plates for hot pans and such. We're gonna be making it out of this piece of cherry. We're gonna be able to fit two on here, and this is about 0.7 thick. And we cut these with a quarter inch bit. This is one of the longer carves. They're about nine minutes each trivet, but they're pretty easy to finish on the back end. For the hold down method for the trivets, we're going to use some makeshift double-sided tape, which is just masking tape and super glue. So to finish them off, we're gonna do a 3 8 round over on the edges and then sand them and oil them up. You could leave them square if you wanted to. We just like the profile that this gives. And for the next item, we have kitchen utensils. If you buy the files on our website, you will have multiple other shapes, but for the demonstration, we're just gonna make the spoon and the spatula. These are out of sapile, and for bits, we're gonna use a bull bit and a downcut bit. We'll also have links to all the bits down in the description. These take about nine minutes to make. Okay, so this is what they look like fresh off the machine. This stuff actually looks pretty good, but I'm gonna give them some little further shaping with this guy back here. If you don't have anything fancy like that, you could just do like a round over on the bottom or just throw some 80 grit on the sander and start going. But this does pretty quick work of it, so let's get going. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of shaping, you can see I made some pretty good progress. I still have a little bit of sanding to do with higher grits, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. So we'll show you guys how we finish these when we finish the rest of the items. So this one's for all you book lovers. Next up we have the book buddy or the page holder opener. And what's really nice about these is that you can make a lot of them with not that much wood. So we're gonna be able to fit five of them on this chunk and it's gonna take about seven minutes carve time. We're using a quarter inch down cut bit to cut these all out. So there's not too much to these. We're gonna cut the tabs out, give them a quick sanding, and oil them up. And the next item on the list are these modern sleek coat hooks. If you follow us on Instagram, you've probably seen me showing these off. They're pretty cool. They're nice, simple design. This is another one you could, you could pump out a bunch of these at a relatively quick rate just because they're so small and easy to cut and it doesn't take much wood. I actually hung from one of these on the stud. So let's cut a bunch of these out and then I'll show you guys how we hang them. So 
here's one of the pieces we cut. I just quickly sanded this. And these are just threaded inserts. We're gonna go ahead and sink one of these into the back and then use these hanger bolts to attach them to the wall. If you don't like this method, you could do some sort of keyhole slots on the back and it would just clip on the wall like that. But this is the best method I've found that's the strongest and you can't pop it off with any upward pressure. All right, so let's hang this thing on the wall. We're just gonna hang it in my shop because I don't wanna punch a bunch of holes in my house. So we're just gonna pre-drill pre a hole. You can buy one of these fancy drill bits on Amazon for like six bucks. I'll link it in the description. And this just screws in here like so, and then you just drill it in, super easy. But if you don't wanna buy the bit, when I first did this, I just put two nuts on here and just tightened it together and used a wrench to just screw it into the wall. So now one thing you might notice that, so we screw this on, and if you're worried about this scratching your wall, you could just put a little piece of parchment paper or regular paper in between there, and that would help prevent it. But as you can see, it doesn't really mess much up unless you really over tighten it. The fifth and final item is this cutting board holder, which also works for tablets if you want to play on your tablet while you're eating your cereal. What I really like about these is that they come apart, so it makes it great for displaying cutting boards when you're at a booth or selling your item somewhere, and it makes it nice to just display them at home. And we also have a bonus item for you. In our last video, we had a mallet file, which was super popular. So to cap this video off with a little bit of bonus, I came out with three new mallet files. So if you guys are interested in these, you can find these on our website. All right, let's talk finishing now that all of our items are made. So with small stuff like this, I don't really like to cover it in poly just because I want it to have that nice handmade real wood feel. So I tend to go towards the more natural looking finishes. Osmo's a great one, Rubio's a great one. Also, I for a lot of stuff I just use cutting board oil and this furniture finish. I actually have two I actually have two tubs, one with the furniture finish and one with the cutting board oil. And that's for this small stuff, usually I just dunk it in there and call it good. So for these I'll show you in a second, but I just dunk them in the box and just let them kind of dry off for a day and then they're pretty much good. I'll do the same with this. So for the book buddies, I would not recommend a product like this because after some research, I saw people that make these, they do not recommend using an oil finish. This would be fine because it dries and hardens, but these will probably leach into the book pages. So what I did is I just sprayed a couple coats of poly on here and these are good to go. I just put a glove on and just kind of sprayed it and then just did each side. So this is a spoonchula we made, and this is one we've actually been using in our home for multiple cooks now. And you can see it already leached some color and took on some stain from like a curry we made. Um, I just put the cutting board oil on there because I knew it was food safe and it was easy to do. I'm probably gonna explore different options since it did lose color and did take on some staining. So I'll probably check out like a tongue oil or maybe something along those lines. But any of these products are good, use whatever you want. I would just avoid any oil products like that on the Book Buddy. 
Um, when I was doing research for this video, I found these trivets. I thought these were super cool. I'm just gonna use something like this because you're gonna put the hot pan on it and it's gonna probably dry out anyway. So I'm super curious to see how these hold up as these are pretty popular and I really didn't know what they were. So I'm excited to try these out. But yeah, that's kind of it for finishing. Um, same with the mallets, anything like this, tongue oil, furniture finish would be great on the mallets. And I think that's it. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you're interested in making any of these projects, we do have files available on our website that do come with DIY plans to make it as easy as possible. But you do not by any means have to buy our files. You can just use this as inspiration. And you can find more information to that all in the description. And also in the description below are any links to any tools or bits that we use for the video. So check it out and hope you have a great day. Day. <laughs>